Hey family, this is Alvin with Traveling Abroad. We are currently on the Carnival Conquest, and I just wanted to give you guys a cabin tour of our port side balcony cabin, 8275. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Please and thank you. Love you, mean it. First of all, just to let y'all know, if y'all been following the channel, you know I just made gold this cruise. So I'm kind of excited about that. If you're a first time cruiser, this is your sailing sign card. You'll use this for money on board the ship to get back on the ship after port days. You'll use this for everything to access your room. This is what you need to keep with you at all times. All right, so moving along, we have our first closet that has some life jackets, some hanging space, and some shelves at the very bottom. Our second closet is gonna have more shelves, more hanging space, and shelves at the bottom. Then here it's just gonna have all shelves, and then you'll have some extra sleeping uh, stuff there. Um, then we have a full lane here. How y'all doing? All right. Then, these we have our cabin information any emergencies or whatever this is going to be your muster station there on the back of each door and that's on any ship you'll have different muster station depending on where your cabin is the light switch for the cabin the light switch for the restroom and let's go on in the restroom so typical standard carnival bathroom you still have the shower curtain that some people don't like, but hey, that's what you get. And then moving in, we have the shampoo and shower gel that they provide. You can bring it on if you want. Um, here, you will see if you take this out and connect it to that piece there, you can use that to hang wet clothes if you need to dry them. This is not a joke. Make sure you test y'all water before y'all get in the shower. The hot water on the ship is hot. Even if you like hot showers like I do, it's hot. So make sure you test your water before you get in. That is a serious note there. You have the king's throne right here in the corner. And then uh, if you have any shavers, razors, whatever, electronics that you need to keep charged and accessible in the bathroom you can use that that is your only outlet in the restroom um, so you have three shelves on each side of the sink a decent amount of counter space and then you have an alvin right there hey how you doing all right so down here you have some feminine products extra tissue um, then you have a trash can there let's get out of the restroom and then you have your travel and ball magnets if you haven't got them and you've cruised with me before now all you need to do is say hey alvin can i have a magnet and typically i will have them on me at all times so this is a pull out couch your bedding for the couch again is right there um if you pull it out you can just take those big pillows off or keep them there whatever you want to do with them but um, we've never had to do that, so yeah, figure it out. Um, so here you have a lamp, just in case you pull out the bed, you can put your pillows there, and this will basically the wall will serve as your headboard. Um, we put our unpack and choose fun luggage mat back here, just to get it out of the way. Um, so yeah, that's that. This table does move if you need to move, whether you're keeping the couch as a couch or a bed, you can move it wherever you need it around the room. Um, then you have your uh, bed for the room. Keep in mind, this is set up as a king currently, but you can have it set as two twins. And I wanna say it turns into two twin XLs, so it's a little bit longer than a typical twin, but they will basically put the two nightstands in the middle and then push the beds each way um, and then you will have two twins instead of one king um, each nightstand has storage space and then the lamps have two USB ports so actually you can keep your charger right next to you 
the uh, lamp does have a like a high power mode, like a full power, and then it also has uh, like a night light. So either side will help you decide there. Here you can open this up to get a bright, bright view from outside. And while we're talking about the balcony, let's go outside. So outside you're gonna get two chairs and um, one is gonna be like a lounger to where you can adjust the height, I mean adjust the back of the chair. And then the other one is gonna be a regular chair. You also get a little table that they put out here. Check out this view. Currently we are in Cozumel, Mexico. Oh boy, it's bright and it is hot. We just got back on the ship not too long ago. Alright, so coming in, a little extra space there if you need space for shoes or luggage or whatever. Oh, talking about that. Under the bed, if you didn't know, it's enough space to put your empty suitcases once you unpack. And empty suitcases, I will also give you a pro tip. When you come on vacation, unpack your bags. Don't live out of your suitcase. I used to live out of my suitcase because I travel for work for so long. It's so bright in here. I travel for work at, uh, a lot. And typically when I'm gone for work, I do live out of a suitcase because I don't want the feeling of, I'm here to relax. No, I came to work. But on vacation, unpack. It tell you, it makes a huge difference. Okay, moving on. We leave this for just some extra knickknacks, stuff like that. Um, you get two glasses. When we got in here, our glasses wasn't there, but you get your two glasses, bottles of water. If you are up in carnival status, you will get a bottle of water for yourself. Um, the ice machine, I want to say we only have that because we asked for it. So ask your uh, stateroom attendant and they should be able to get you some ice here is some storage uh just kidding it's your safe um directions on how to use the safe is there if we have any important documentation we put it in the safe stuff like this is like when you come on board and your alcohol stuff so we leave anything of somewhat value we leave up here whether it's in the safe or not we use this show for some safe uh for some storage and then you have some uh i want to say that's a 20 Seven, maybe 27 inch TV then down here you have your I don't call them a refrigerator anymore I just call it a cooler but because it's not really a fridge and you can't adjust the temp but you can put that in there if you leave stuff in there for a decent amount of time it will start to get cold um, if it doesn't get cold then let your room attendant know then you have another drawer here with some documentation that you might need um, now this is a little messy right now, but this is like my power station for everything. So you can always bring a power strip. Just make sure this power strip, ooh, excuse me. Make sure this power strip is, uh, has no surge protection on it or else they can confiscate it because it can short out the electricity around the ship. But basically this is what we use for power. I bring a power strip pro tip. Get a halo. We got one and we just use it as a backup for power because you only get one outlet in these rooms. So you get one American and then you can convert this one over to uh, what you need it for. But we use this as a backup because on this you can have another outlet. It's 65 watts max. So some laptops like MacBook Pros in particular, you cannot charge from there. But we keep this in a room if we need extra power, like for phones or whatever, we can plug into here. And then this, we both have a personal, this one is mine. Um, and Brandon has this on him now as he's around the ship. Um, but this is what we take with us if it's right in my fanny pack. It is kind of heavy, but hey, it is. But this is what we do for power. Outlet with the power strip, a second power bank uh, for extra power, and then we have another power strip that we use for this if we need it, and then portable power, because you can never have so much power, right, I guess. Um, in these drawers, this is where we keep our extras with Carnival. You can bring a 12, unopened 
12 pack of uh, soda, water, milk. It can be cans or cartons, but the pack cannot be opened at all. You cannot bring bottled water. But you have more drawers, more drawers. So yeah, and that's your hair dryer. And you can't bring your own hair dryer, so that is the one you have to use. Um, so yeah, this is our cabin tour. Um, 8275, I want to say, is our cabin number. Um, this is a port side balcony cabin. If you want more information on this cabin or other cabins on the ship, make sure you leave a comment down below. If you have any tips or tricks that you use, like with my power situation or whatever, luggage under the bed, tips and tricks that other first time cruisers might be able to use or some veteran cruisers, leave them in the comments below and I'll see you on the next video. Make sure you check out the Carnival Conquest vlogs. I'll see you later. Bye.